Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Deltundra, and welcome to the real deal, the Killzone 3 non-beta multiplayer gameplay commentary here for you guys today. Um, I wanted to talk about a few different topics for you guys that you guys can, you know, think over and hopefully employ into your gaming uh, gameplay, you know, strategy sort of thing. Um, I wanted to talk about today about the tactician class and also uh, a very good way to approach this map called uh, Akmer Snowdrift. Okay, so first off I want to talk about the tactician class. Um, basically when you get this gun, the assault rifle, the M82, the full auto version, uh, it's very, very, very good. I enjoy using this gun almost, you know, all the time. I, I, I switch between this and the medic, but I have everything unlocked right now because, well, this was the first night of gameplay and I got the uh, everything unlocked for 24 hours, actually. So I have everything unlocked in this gameplay. I was running the tactician. I was getting a feel for it, getting, you know, used to everything. Um, right now, with the unlock points and everything, I'm going for the medic and I'm going for the tactician. My tactician is uh, unlocked fully, 100%, and I use the tactician about 80% of my games, especially when they're guerrilla warfare, I I love um, using the M82 to just mow down people. It's very good at long range. It's very good at middle range, also. Okay, for the second topic, I wanted to talk about I want to talk about um, top control for this map it, on Aquaman Snowdrift. It's pretty much an essential way to guarantee victory on Aquaman Snow Snowdrift. You um, all you have to do is set up top control. Uh, I found it works very, very good, especially playing with my friends a lot. I mean, every time we get this map, we just go, oh boy, you know, top control, baby, again. We, so we, every time it's we run this strategy, it runs really good. Um, I like to set up on the right side, actually. Really likes to set up the proximity mines up the middle, and we just cover cover the routes up to the stairs that, you know, lead up to the top floor. And you're pretty much good to go. But, I mean, if they're an aggressive, very aggressive team, you can sit back a little bit, a uh, little bit, and uh, wait for the them to come up to you. But, I mean, if they're not that aggressive and they're not that threatening, you can push forward a little bit down to the middle staircase, the middle platform, which you can actually watch them spawn uh, almost underneath you. They, they have to come up those little stairs. That's a really big spawn point for them, especially when you guys have top control. You can actually... You know, watch them come up uh, underneath the stairs. So you can actually pick off a lot of people from the middle part, the middle, uh, the middle section of this map. I mean, it's still a good, you know, good vantage point to look down on the enemy. But uh, I, the right staircase is essential to um, hold down, and also the middle staircase and the middle platform. If you guys hold down the middle platform, the right platform and everything you're good to go I mean you you pretty much uh, guaranteed win I mean if unless you're getting outshot by the opponent from down underneath you which is it's harder for people to shoot up at you than it is for them to shoot down at you uh, if you're shooting down usually people have less cover to hide behind and you have more cover to hide behind to you know get those kills and so you pretty much have the advantage as top of top control uh, we employ it a lot, and I hope you guys employ it also. So, I mean, and also, don't be afraid to pick up guns. Um, it's pretty much essential to always have a, a dedicated engineer on your team to get those resupply crates uh, up and running in your team's favor. And it's a very good idea to do that. So we pretty much either have... Uh, I've been playing with, like, Anakin and Miss Zombie Lady, and they're great engineers. <laughs> They've been doing a great job with that. And then over ready to just laying, laying down the proximity mines. Uh, good teamwork there all around, you know, having fun. And, you know, just employ the strategy and you will get the job done on Akmer Snowdrift. Alright, so I want you guys to also employ the strategy. And please let me know how it works for you guys. Because I'm really curious on what your guys' strategies are. I found this one where it works very well for me every single time. Especially when you play as a team and get the job done. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are picking up Killzone 3 also and having a good time with it because it's growing on me. I'm, I'm loving it. And so the final score, I believe, for this match is 16 and 6. 
playing as a team, playing top control. Hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for more kill zone tips and tactics. And until next time, I'm Delta Hunter, and I will see you guys later. Hey guys, we now have our own website. Actually, we've always had our own website, but why not follow us on there? There you'll find all our videos conveniently sorted into playlists by game, as well as videos from many other directors that are part of our NGT network. And here you can create subscriptions for individual games and only receive notifications for new videos uploaded for the games that you are subscribed to. Isn't that fantastic? No more spam video email notifications. And stay in touch with us on our full featured forums. Remember, all the relevant links are always in the description of our videos. Click on them. Come join us on our website. We'll see you there.